Yo, check this out. It's the Soul Brother number one, Pete Rock. You checking out Respect the Architect. Okay, player, baby. You already know how I go. How I would describe my sound, the Pete Rock sound? Mm -hmm. Gritty, soulful, funky, adventurous. Makes you think. You could study to it, exercise to it. You know, um, like apply it to your life. Oh, of course, T-R-O-Y, Reminisce Over You. Um, it's one of my greatest beats, I believe, in my opinion, that I've made in my career. Um, and um, it was in the memory of a, a, a homeboy, Trouble T-Roy, that was a Heavy D's dancer, it was my cousin, Heavy D. And um, Troy was in the group, Heavy D and the boys, and you know, we dedicated a song to him when we lost him. When, when I made this Reminisce song, I didn't think it would have the impact that it, that it has today, but um, I know when I finished, you know, making it and mixing it and everything like that and listening back to it, that's when I knew it was gonna be something. You understand? Because um, at the end of the, 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 the mix session, the people that was in there with me was crying. <laughs> It, you know, I made people cry and it was just like, wow, I'm, I'm touching nerves. And yeah, right there, that's when I knew. That day, like everyone in that room was like, Pete, this is powerful. You just made me cry for nothing. I just, I wasn't thinking about nothing emotional until they heard the full finished, you know, product. Oh man, you know, shout out to the large professor who actually introduced me to Nas and brought him up to Mount Vernon. And, um, you know, we got in the basement and played him a couple of beats and he heard that one. And, um, you know, it kind of froze him and, you know, he, he was feeling it popping his head and the ideas was flowing. And, um, you know, he requested me to sing on it. I sang on it and it is what it is today, you know. Run DMC because they were my favorite um, rap group, you know, as, as, a, as a youngin. And, um, you know, was kind of shocked that I was able to work with them and make a song like that for them. So shout out to Run DMC. Rest in peace to Jam Master J. Maybe I could say something towards like the new millennium, like the Flea Lord album I made, you know what I'm saying? It's a great album. I just know that if I had mixed it properly, it would have been, been one of them albums that hip hoppers would have been like, yo, throw that flea joint. I mean, they probably doing that now anyway, but I just know my potential when I'm, when I'm finishing off a record, you know what I'm saying? I would say I'm funky. I, I would say I know how the, the important elements are supposed to work. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not gonna say I'm the best rapper, but I, I just will say I know how to do it. I would probably put myself uh, seven, eight, somewhere. Ooh, well, I would definitely say my legacy. I would definitely say CL Smooth. I would definitely say Nas. And I would definitely say Kanye, Jay-Z. And, I, and, and not, I'm not saying that politically. I'm just trying to think of records off the off the top of my head that I think were like that, you know. Yeah, I think a few more too, you know, a couple heavy D records. Um, man, so much so much stuff. I did Raekwon stuff, Ghost Face, you know, Inspect the Deck, you know. Oh man, just finishing that Mechan the Soul Brother album and um, anxious for people to hear what, what I was doing. That was a great memory, finishing that album. And then, um, you know, just, you know, doing the videos. This is a, this was all a first time thing for us, you know, b besides the production part of me, you know what I'm saying? The artist part of me was like, you know, things like that, you know what I'm saying? And um, make, making the main ingredient album. Those were the most, probably, greatest memories I've had in, in, in my legacy. The label situation back in the 90s, I mean, I, versus today, I would say it was a little bit better, you know? I, you know, the 
the work I was doing was raising the bar, you know what I'm saying, for producers to get paid. Um, and, you know, CL, with, with what he was doing, was, uh, you know, showing people a, a different tone or, uh, he took on, on how he rapped. And just like, we were just different from a lot of people, you know, even though we, everyone had like, in a, in a two-man group, you know, it was not only us, it was Nice and Smooth and a couple other groups, but we was just more unique, you know what I'm saying? And it was a new time, 1990 had rose upon us. And, you know, I was, I was just finishing up being on the radio with Marley Hall in control at that time and started working more with Heavy D and um, being around Marley when I was young, you know, being actually, <laughs> being a guest DJ for him on, on the In Control show. Not only that, but just being with my cousin Heavy D in his house, watching them record with Molly. So that was great. And having to meet um, rappers that I, you know, admired at a young age, the Juice Crew, you know what I'm saying? I was a young cat, you know, working on WBLS when I was young, 13, 14 years old, and got to meet a lot of people, man, before I even started producing. My favorite part of beat making is everything about it. You know what I'm saying? Like everything about it. Going in the record stores, finding the dope, you know, obscure samples and, 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 and records. I only don't sample. I like to buy records just to listen to too. But I'm a hip hop musician also, and I like to, you know, sample f to make beats and hip hop. So, um, yeah, that's my, 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 everything that consists of beat making and then finding the actual loop that no one's ever heard that you want to put onto the world. That's the greatest feeling, you know? And then actually making a beat that, that people can, 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 can love, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'll keep knocking it out until I get that reaction. Right now, it's a sixth sense for me to, to finish off beats. Like, all I gotta do is hear, you know, certain sounds, and it's just, it just happens, and it's just easy for me now because I've been doing it for so long. I loved it with all my heart, put all my passion into it. And when it's like that, and you've been doing it for so long, it just becomes really easy for you, you know? It comes really easy to you. I would say uh, Smoke Dizza, Tech and Steel, Smith and Wesson, um, Sky Zoo. Um, because they're passionate like me about hip hop, you know what I'm saying? And you know, it's nothing better than working with real artists, you know, because me, when I'm making beats, I strive for those, for those kind of people to work with, you know what I'm saying? And um, engage with, so. Um, it's important that, you know, we put out good music and lyrics, you know, from this, from this for on, you know, from this time on. All of them. <laughs> toot toot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm going to say P1 is one of my, because it's the first one, you know, Peach Dimensions 1. I would say Peach Dimensions 4. I would say Peach Dimensions 2, and I would say Peach Dimensions 3, because it's no sampling, it's just live band, you know. But my favorite out of all, I would have to say Peach Dimensions 1. Whatever you're doing that, you know, um, helps inspire you in life, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you apply your life to, whether it's, you know, being, something that you want to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you strive and you, there's steps to get there, you know what I'm saying? And so whether it's working out, you know, studying, you know, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And people listen to music while they're doing all of that, you know what I'm saying? So that's, I know what I'm doing with that stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? It's inspiration, you know, you know, people, I, 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 even people that's in jail, you know what I'm saying? Tell me, yo, the music does this, it does that. You know, and then people tell me that they go to the gym and they put on Peach Dramentals. Yep, Peach Dramentals 5, 
uh, I just did, SP, I just released uh, the, the SP1200 instrumental part two. There's a part one to that too. And then I'm gonna do part three. So there's lots more music to come. And then I got my artist Amir, um, Peace Beloved, who I've done an album with called Dope Boy Soul that's coming. And I'm working with Common right now. So we're doing the album together. So that's exciting stuff. Wow. Molly Maul, Howie T, Jay Dilla. <laughs> this is always a hard one. Red Man, um, Ghostface, Nas, uh, Biggie. You know what? Conway the Machine. Dude is, dude, dude. He crazy with it, man. I hate the cutoffs and the limits and the, you know what I'm saying? I would just name like 20 off back what I love, Rakim, Kane, you know, but those are the two I've been idolizing for so long, you know what I'm saying? So they, they came first, you know what I mean? The, the Griselda Camp, Alchemist, Premier, myself. Well, nobody really talks about well, they probably do, but I, I like this producer named Vitamin D, you know, who's pretty dope, who's done beats for people and did the power TV show soundtrack and everything like that. He dope, you know what I'm saying? Knife Wonder, you know, Havoc for Mob Deep. Man, all the good guys. Mad Lib, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's one of my favorites today. Him, Dilla, you know. This goes on, Diamond D, everybody, man. I mean, like, I always liked Wheezy. You know what I'm saying? I always, you know, you know, I always, he had, he knows how to rap, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, West Side Gun, you know what I'm saying? Um, Smoke, Dizza, Rock Marciano. We just did something new too called Chris Angel. This is, you know, out of this world, man. He's, the, he's one of the top dogs, man, that I love, man, in this game, you know? Oh, man. So it came about with me in common, just got on the phone with each other, like, yo, what's up? You wanna do something? Blah. We end up doing something. Um, and now we're heavily involved in this and it's really gonna happen, you know? we. We nailing them down and got two more to go, I believe. Um, he was hella excited. I'm hella excited. Then we get into the music and then I'm sending him beats and he's just like writing and sending vocals back. Like, how you want to do this? What kind of hook? Who you want to get to sing on this and that? And it's going down. And it's like, you know, we have history. You know, that's the homie since 1990. You know what I'm saying? And since his first album, I, I didn't do anything on the first album or Resurrection, but he's just a friend, you know what I'm saying? A good dude. And we've been friends. And then we ended up, you know, linking up and doing doing music together in the 90s. And then ever since then, here we are now, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I did. He did do Soul Survival 1. He's on there. And then after that, you know, I just was listening to him, working with Dilla a lot. And now, and now we're here, you know what I'm saying? And this project, I, I, I just want, I'm, I, I just want, I'm just anxious for people to hear this, man. Like, it, you know, with my passion and my love for what I do and what he does, this is explosive, man. And people don't even realize what they're gonna get, but they're gonna get it the way it's gonna come, you know, and that's it. Never felt intimidated by no artist in hip hop ever. When you love what you do, you don't even think about nothing like that. You know, if you know you make good music, you just me. I'm I'm imaginary with it. With, with it. I like to think, and when I make different beats, I'm like, I hear this person on this, I hear this person on that. And I like, but never intimidation. It's always it's fun to me. It's just fun. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what's kind of missing in hip hop, like. You know, when you record music in the studio, it's like the fun we used to have, man, it's crazy. 
Wow. Probably working with Heavy D. You know what I'm saying? Working with Hev. That's where all, when it all, that's when I, my first experiences of this whole music thing started. You know what I'm saying? It was, you know, the most fun I had was with my cousin Heavy D. He brought me in it. Brought me in it. Like, b- between him and Molly Maul. But definitely Hev. You know, Hev brought me to Molly. And Molly gave me a shot on the radio at a young age. You know, that, that's unheard of, you know. But, I mean, I think I'm one of the first youngins in New York to be on the radio like that with a major producer, you know what I'm saying? And then have, you know, becoming, you know, he's, you know, coming into himself and and becoming his own celeb and star and everything. He he believed in me and knew I had something and then just kind of like brought it out of me. It's real simple for me, man. I only I just do what I want. You know what I'm saying? I post what I want, and like I'm, I, I'm an old school dude. I'm, I collect things. I, you know, I'm into little kid stuff that never left me. You know what I'm saying? And so, with that, you know, I, 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 it comes with like comedy. I like to post things that's funny, make people laugh. You know, once in a while, I hit you with some serious stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just to make you aware. It's awareness. You know, can't live in a reality called life and not know what's coming at you. You know what I'm saying? But that stuff I kind of fell back on a little bit. I just like to post beats, you know, you know, funny stuff, you know, anything musical, any history about any, you know, artists that we loved growing up, you know, that you never seen before, you know, clips of people, you know, footage. The things I've always been doing, you know, that 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 way I find solace and freeness and stuff. Music, you know, is a real big part of that. Um, I like to collect comic books and dig for stuff and find memorabilia. You know, those things keep my mind sane in the insane world. Oh man. <laughs> The first love goes to the to the old school, which I call the true school, which is, you know, the Coco Rocks, Cool Herks, Grand Wizard Theodores, Grandmaster Flash, Melly Mel, the Sha Rocks, Cold Crush Brothers, Grandmaster Kaz, Fearless Four, Fantastic Five. That's the school and cloth I'm cut from. That's where I learned everything at, you know. I have um Jamaican um, descent, you know, my whole family's from Jamaica. Um, And uh, the influence that Jamaican music had in the 70s and stuff like that um, reminded me of what hip hop is in America. I believe, you know, that in hip hop and for the 50 years and all the experiences that I've had and what I've been able to see you know, I want to thank hip hop for that, you know, from the bottom of my heart.